Because the cost of lithium, a key component in battery manufacturing, has gotten so high, Elon Musk tweeted that Tesla may get into the mining and refining business directly and at scale. Lithium prices have reached insane levels, Musk wrote on Twitter. Lithium is almost everywhere on Earth, so there is no shortage of the element itself, but extraction and refinement are slow. Let's know more. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Elon Musk Evolution, where we tell you all the latest news about Elon Musk and his multi-billion dollar companies. In today's video, we are going to tell you about Tesla is getting into the lithium business, because the costs are insane. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our incredible videos. The Tesla and SpaceX CEO was responding to a tweet that showed the average price of lithium per ton over the last two decades, with prices skyrocketing since 2021. The price of the metal has increased by more than 480% in the last year, according to Benchmark Mineral Intelligence. According to the United States Geological Survey, a division of the United States Department of Interior, lithium deposits can be found all over the country. Lithium is the lightest metal and the least dense solid element, making it ideal for electric vehicle batteries. That means lithium batteries have a high power to weight ratio, which is important in the transportation industry. This isn't the first time Musk has mentioned the possibility of Tesla producing its own lithium. According to Fortune, which cited people familiar with the matter, Tesla secured its own rights to mine lithium in Nevada in 2020 after a deal to buy a lithium mining company fell through. The automaker had talks with Cypress Development Corp in recent months about extracting lithium from clay deposits in southwest Nevada, but the parties didn't reach an agreement, according to the people who asked not to be identified because the information isn't public. The electric vehicle manufacturer, which has pledged to cut battery costs by half, has instead focused on Chief Executive Officer Elon Musk's plan to dig for lithium on its own in the state, which he announced last week. Lithium extraction from clay has proven difficult and expensive so far. Using this method, no company has been able to produce commercial quantities. Tesla's plan to cut battery costs and deliver on a promise to bring a $25,000 electric car to the market, however, includes a push into mining. Last week, Musk told investors that Tesla had secured 10,000 acres of lithium-rich clay deposits in Nevada and planned to extract the metal using a new, very sustainable method. Tesla did not respond to requests for comment via email. Cypress has remained tight-lipped about any discussions with the automaker. As demand for electric vehicle grows, the carmaker's decision to make its own battery cells and enter production of battery cathodes and related raw materials is intended to add in-house capacity alongside deals with external suppliers. Piedmont Lithium Limited, which has a project in North Carolina, signed a five-year raw materials agreement with the company this month. Piedmont Energy claims to have signed a five-year lithium supply agreement with Tesla. According to Bloomberg NEF analyst Sharon Mustry, Obtaining lithium from clay deposits has traditionally been considered too difficult and expensive due to low recovery rates. By 2030, BNEF estimates that about 5% of global lithium supply will come from unconventional resources, mostly clay. Brine operations, which pump liquid from underground reservoirs into vast evaporated ponds and traditional hard rock mines are the most common sources of lithium raw material. Tesla's plan to extract lithium from clay supports the importance of clays as a future source of lithium in the United States, Cypress CEO Bill Willoughby said in an emailed statement. Tesla is concentrating on developing a process to extract the metal using sodium chloride, or table salt, rather than more expensive chemical reagents, according to Musk. According to Mustry, no other mine has used this method to date. Some analysts have expressed skepticism about plans to use a technology that hasn't been proven at scale. Lithium has never been commercially produced from clay, said Chris Berry, president of House Mountain Partners, a consulting firm. The lithium-ion battery and electric vehicle industries rely heavily on lithium. To reduce the cost of batteries in electric vehicles, methods of economically extracting the metal from various lithium resources are necessary. Lithium brines are the most common lithium sources for mining because of the low cost of extracting lithium from these sources. Musk announced on Battery Day 2020 that Tesla had purchased the rights to 10,000-acre lithium clay deposits in Nevada. Musk stated that the company had considered how to obtain lithium in the most environmentally friendly manner and had come up with a solution. Tesla had created its own lithium mining system, which uses table salt sodium to cut costs by 33%. Nobody's done this before. To the best of my knowledge, nobody's done this, Musk said. Tesla filed a patent for selective extraction of lithium from clay minerals in July 2021, according to reports. In comparison to current methods such as acid leaching, 
The patent claims that extracting lithium from ore using sodium chloride is a more environmentally friendly way to obtain the metal. It also enables faster recoveries. In essence, by mixing a cash and source with the clay mineral, performing a high energy mill of the clay mineral, and performing a liquid leach to obtain a lithium rich leach solution, this method allows extracting lithium from clay minerals and compositions. Musk wrote that the company has some great ideas for sustainable lithium extraction and refinement, continuing his message in response to the rise in the price of lithium. It's unclear whether he was referring to his patent, but given the current state of affairs on the lithium market, we may learn more about it soon. Moreover, many in the industry see nickel, an essential component of most lithium-ion batteries, as a major roadblock as automakers around the world set lofty goals for vehicle electrification. While there is enough nickel in the ground to support a significant increase in electric vehicle adoption, there aren't enough planned mining projects or processing facilities to produce the high-grade nickel required for EV batteries. Meanwhile, according to Mark Beveridge of Benchmark Mineral Intelligence, the nickel content in battery cells is only increasing. This is due to the fact that more nickel equals higher energy density. For certain cell types, we're heading toward, you know, 90% nickel cathode, Beveridge explained. Because of fears of supply distribution, Russia's invasion of Ukraine has sent nickel prices soaring to record highs, prompting the London Metal Exchange to suspend nickel trading for a week. Meanwhile, domestic nickel resources in the United States are scarce. The Eagle Mine in Michigan is the country's only primary nickel mine, and it will shut down in 2025. The proposed Tamarack mine in Minnesota, which is being developed by Talon Metals and mining behemoth Rio Tinto, is one such example. Talon has already secured a supply deal with Tesla to get Tamarack nickel into EV batteries, despite the fact that it has yet to go through the permitting process. In other areas, however, the project pipeline for new, high-grade nickel mines has largely dried up, and communities frequently oppose the new mining proposals. It's no different at the Tamarack mine. Paula McAbee, a Minnesota lawyer who works for the nonprofit Water Legacy as the advocacy director and counsel, has some concerns. How much nickel is going to end up in our drinking water? When an underground mine has gaps and fissures, where will the toxic nickel go? In any case, lithium-ion battery recycling rather than mining could provide a more fruitful and long-term supply of nickel. Despite the fact that this technology is still in its infancy, Battery recycling companies such as Lycycle and Redwood Minerals have already formed partnerships with major automobile manufacturers. Within the United States alone, there are at least five or six companies, each with their own proprietary technologies. Gardner says, though he doubts that recycling will provide all of the nickel required. Will it be enough to meet the total demand for electric vehicles? I doubt it, but it is compatible with today's available and used traditional technologies. Mining for nickel will continue to be a part of the equation even as battery recycling improves and becomes more affordable. If approved, the Temerak project would only make a minor dent in the global nickel shortage. The Talon team, on the other hand, hopes that this project will demonstrate that mining can be done responsibly. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. If so, give it a like and share it with your friends and family. Let us know if you have any questions or comments in the section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more of our incredible videos. You can also watch our other videos that have been specially selected for you. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.